The Hoover Dam, a world-renowned marvel of human engineering, was constructed during the height of the Great Depression, a time when one out of four Americans were out of work. This vast undertaking drew tens of thousands of unemployed men from all over the U.S. to travel to Southern Nevada with hopes of landing one of the construction jobs, offering wages up to $1.25 an hour. Falling granite, dynamite blasts, dizzying heights, and extreme temperatures were among the myriad of hazards that came with the job. Thousands of workers were injured, and more than 100 men lost their lives building this incredible hydroelectric dam and power plant. With many more skilled applicants than job openings, employers of this era weren't overly concerned about employee engagement or providing a safe and happy working environment, and no company examined their culture from the employee's perspective. They didn't have to. But those old school practices no longer hold water. Today, companies of all shapes and sizes are fighting each other for skilled workers, and the balance of power has definitely shifted. Skilled, trained, and experienced workers are now in high demand and in short supply, and employers everywhere are struggling to hire and retain qualified people in all jobs and at all levels. But in this epic battle for top talent, there are clear winners. And the companies that are winning are winning because of their workplace culture. In his latest book, On Fire at Work, workforce expert Eric Chester reveals the secrets and the tactics these winning companies are using to attract and hang on to the best and the brightest. And it shows their strategies for going beyond mere employee engagement to inspire on-fire performance from their people. On Fire at Work, how great companies ignite passion in their people without burning them out. A game-changing book that shows you how to get your people to work harder, perform better, and stay longer.